everyone! So today I want to talk to you about how I am now able to study for 7 or 8 hours straight. So I have ADHD so for the longest time, for years actually, I always felt like I could not study more than an hour straight. Um, and throughout my years of undergrad, I've been able to um, find some tips and build some habits that today they have helped me and made me able to study for seven or eight hours. So in this video, I will tell you exactly how I do that, what my schedule looks like and give you some tips on how you can get there for you too. So I already wrote a blog post about all the content that you will find in this YouTube video. So if you prefer to um, read the blog post instead of watch this video, please just go to the description. Um, the link to the blog post will be there. So a question that I get very often is why am I studying for so many hours straight? So for me, the reason is simple. I have many things to do. I have many assignments and also um, I have a blog, girlknowstack.com. I also have an Instagram account with many followers where I need to create some content every day, almost. I have this YouTube channel. So all of these online platforms requires me to create a lot of content. So that's, that's hours during the day. I'll, I also need to reply to emails, um, things like that. And on top of that, um, I have assignments for my... When I was an undergrad, I had assignments. Um, so that's really the only reason why. And I was also involved in, um, women in, in promoting women in tech causes. So that's uh, something that's very important to me. So I wanted to invest time, invest time there as well. Um, so that's the only reason um, I, I needed to study for so long because I'm passionate about so many things and I want to um, do them the right way. Something else that people tell me really often is that studying for eight hours is not healthy. So my first reaction when I get that comment is that, well, what are you gonna do when you have a nine to five job? Like every day you need to work for eight hours. So for me, studying is the same thing, um, but maybe the difference is that you're, you are your own boss. Okay, you have professors, but I mean, if people are able to work eight hours a day, nine to five, why wouldn't you be able to, I mean, why would um, studying for eight hours be unhealthy? I don't really get it. <laughs> so um, that's my first reaction. But also, I'm not just doing homework for eight hours. Like, I'm paying my driver's license, I'm replying to emails, I'm posting on Instagram, I'm editing a video. So I have very various tasks, so not all of them will require like my brain to work at 100%. And that's actually one of my, of my tip that I will give you later is that it's important to vary your task. And if you have life admin stuff, so paying some bills or licenses or things like that, um, that's also something you can include in your eight hours of studying. So it's just eight hours of accomplishing tasks in the end. So now I will share with you my typical schedule for an eight hour study day. So I wrote this schedule when I was doing it a little bit more often. Today it has changed, but I think it's a very um, easy to do uh, schedule. Like it's not too demanding, I find. So I'm gonna put it on the screen here. So a typical schedule for me when I um, know I'm gonna work for eight hours is from seven to nine, sometimes 10 a.m. I will um, wake up, have a shower, breakfast, and I'll get started um, when I'm done. So I often aim to start at 9 a.m., but it can go until 10 a.m. until I'm ready to start. Um, and while I have breakfast, I typically watch a TV show on Netflix, so like a 45 minute show. So as you can see, I really take my time. Um, I don't know why I've always been like this. It takes me a lot of time to get ready in the morning and that's just how it is. And then from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. I usually study. So we have a three hours there. Um, I will work for 50 minutes and then I will have 10 minutes of break for, and I will do that three times. So um, I try to not use my phone. It's 
probably gonna be on forest from 1 p.m to 2 i will have lunch um, and from 2 to 6 i will study again so it's gonna be four more hours and um, from 6 to 8 i will have dinner and i will have a little bit of break and then from 8 p.m to 10 p.m or sometimes later depending on um, the workload um, then i will study and work again i think that's pretty typical of many uh, college students or grad students so it's totally feasible and yeah I don't think I I definitely don't do that every day um, maybe very often but um, from one day to the other it, it changes so you just adapt your schedule it's also important to know that you won't be able to study for eight hours tomorrow morning when you try my schedule so you really need to build the habit. So for me, I know I started with one hour. So when I was doing one hour of focus work, then I was very happy. And then slowly I increased. So then you do two hours, three hours every day, four hours. And then maybe in two months, you will finally be able to have a seven or eight hour study day. So it takes a lot of time and it definitely does not happen overnight don't beat yourself up when you try and you don't get it um, it will take time it's normal i think it really is that we need to build an habit and it slowly um, gets easier every day when you um, work towards achieving a seven or eight hour study day so now i will have a little recap and i will give you six tips that i use to be able to do long study day so first of all you need to make a to-do list um, i know some people don't like it but I can't live without it so you can do it in uh, the night before when you know you want to ha get a lot of work done on the next day but you can also do it in the morning um, just as you prefer and for me it's just I always have my to-do list on my computer or on paper next to me my second point is to avoid distractions so I have a whole video and a whole blog post just about this topic where I give you many tips um, I think those are really important tips so please go check the video or the blog post and um, yeah so to avoid any distraction I'll just make it short I sometimes use forest on my phone I use an app to block some websites on my desktop um, I try to get everything that I need in a study day in my desk so I don't have to get up because as soon as you get up uh, you will take the opportunity to do laundry or anything else that's not studying and you will end up losing an hour of your day so and I have many other tips in the blog post so just go there my third tip is to use a Pomodoro timer. So it's really important to take breaks. Um, actually, at least for me, I don't think I could um, study. Like I know some people do four hours study block and do not use their phone during this whole time. But for me, I can do that. <laughs> I prefer to do like a 50 and 10 minutes of break um, sessions. My tip number four, I already said it, but it's the main one, it's really important. You need to slowly build the habit. So it won't happen overnight, just take um, however long you are doing right now and increase hour by hour until you get to seven or eight. So it will slowly get easier. My fifth tip is to have a list of diversified tasks. So I think you can have um, the ideal is to have tasks that take a long time, tasks that are short, tasks that are difficult mentally, and then tasks that are also very easy to do, like paying bills or, or things like that. So I think it's very easy to have those four different kinds of tasks, um, because with time, I realized that um, around 3 or 4 p.m., I get really tired, and this is really when, for me, I switch to easier tasks. And I think that really makes a difference because then you are uh, able to continue working, continue your study day and do things that are easier. And if I would not switch to easier tasks, I think I would just stop working uh, at 3 p.m. because I'm too tired. My tip number six is to work out. So I really like channels like Pamela Reef, Chloe Ting, um, Fitness Blender. They all offer like 
10 to 30 minutes workouts videos. They're all free on YouTube and I find that when I work out, it really refreshes my mind and I can, it's like a new day when I get back to work. So that's also a very good tip if you're tired at 3 or 4 p.m. Um, sometimes I just go work out, then I come back and I feel much better. So that's also um, something that's very good to incorporate in your schedule and makes you able to do seven or eight hours of study day. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was useful for you. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this. And if you have any ideas of content you would like to see from me, please leave a comment and I will um, be very happy to add it to my list of content ideas. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video.